Now, the fate of the Director of Public Prosecution hangs in the balance, with elected leaders still divided over his suitability to hold office. MPs deferred again today over Tobiko's handling of graft cases, even as some members of Parliament called on the President to reinstate those who have been cleared of graft charges. Aaron Cheng tells us more. After the passing of the 60 days period given by President for investigations into the 147 draft files, focus has shifted to the office and the person of the Director of Public Prosecutions. Some have called for Kiriako Tobiko's resignation over the closure of nearly two thirds of the cases. Your Excellency, if you want to fight corruption, Kiriako Tobiko should be nowhere around a public office for the governance of this country. That office is too big for him. But Senate's Committee on Legal Affairs is calling for a sober approach in the manner in which the constitutional office holders are being handled and faulted those calling for Tobiko's removal. If the DPP in this country was to act on the fact that everybody who is named must be taken to court, we will have overturned the constitution of this republic and turned it into a jungle. And that is what the reason why we made that office independent as it is now. Other members of the committee says ESCC continued investigations on some of the files may hit a snag, bearing in mind that the body is not fully constituted. I think it is uh, uh, the responsibility of Parliament, the Senate, the National Assembly to discuss with the DPP understand the challenges that the Director of Public Prosecution are undergoing. But in a quick rejoinder, a section of MPs from the Rift Valley say all those who stepped aside to pave way for investigations should be reinstated since the relevant investigative bodies has cleared their names. 60 days is over. Can we know those people that who have been cleared and be taken back to their offices? They were advised to step aside for investigation to go on. Once they are cleared, then they should resume their, their obligation of ensuring that uh, they serve in the min specific ministries. Almost all cabinet secretaries who were named in the graft list have been cleared for lack of evidence and Kenyans will be keen to see the next move by the head of state. Aaron Ocheng, KTN.